I look good in HD, don't I? Undertale is an indie game created by Toby Fox. It's an RPG about a boy who falls down while climbing a mountain into the underground, where monsters have been sealed for a very long time after a historic battle that decided their fate. Sounds simple at first, but this game is anything but. Hey guys, this is McGamer. Today we are going to be talking about a game that has eaten up much of my time for the past few months. Named Undertale. For this review, I'm going to be talking about why you should play the game and why you should complete it while trying as best as I can to not spoil anything. This shall be a difficult task, but without further ado, let's take a look at Undertale. First, let's talk about the gameplay. Personally, I do not enjoy turn-based RPGs. I find them tedious, and I had never completed, let alone beat one in my life, until this game came along. Not even games I really kind of like, like Earthbound. But Undertale turns down the tedium a lot with its special battle system. Here's how it works. You make a move, such as fight, act, or spare, and then your opponent attacks. Sounds like your average turn-based RPG, right? Well, what makes it special is the way the enemy attacks. You usually control a small heart sprite in a box. This represents your soul. Down in the underground, monsters attack by shooting bullets, representing their attacks. If these bullets hit your heart, you take damage. And if your re HP reaches zero, you'll get a game over and reload from your last save. The battles are creative, fun, and a nice take on the turn-based RPG style. Personally, I like when an RPG of this styling uses some sort of skill to make the game a lot less boring than just tap the A button repeatedly, kind of like Mother 3's rhythm mechanic, which is just pressing A repeatedly, but it's a lot more fun when you have a beat to it. Now, the game's overall presentation doesn't seem like much, but it becomes very charming. It definitely has a strange, creepy feeling while being bright and upbeat at the exact same time. You really feel like if a species was trapped underground for many years, this would come out of it. Even though you meet a lot of friends on your journey to get back home, there are parts of the game where you really feel isolated, even though you can just call this guy on your super convenient in-game cell phone. The music is a kick butt, too. It's one of the best video game soundtracks I've heard in a long time. Just like Cave Story, sometimes you'll open up the game just to listen to the song. I mean seriously, listen to this. Now let's talk programming. They nailed that too. Other than a few hilarious minor bugs that like holding up and down at the same time to spaz around on the wall like you are having a seizure, I found no glitches. It's amazing how as games are beginning to evolve, we are seeing less and less glitches. I mean, let's face it, 2015 was the year that the most you would see out of a glitch. It was a crappy YouTube video filmed with an off-screen camera that only one person ever could and would pull off by pure accident. It's funny how 2014 had so many buggy releases like Sonic Boom and AC Unity, but one year later, video game developers actually decide to try. Now let's talk actual story. It seems simple at first. I mean, the opening title gives you everything you need to know, right? Wrong! With all these other things that we've been talking about so far, do you really think that Toby would make a rookie mistake like that? I love when a game gives you story in short bits. It's fun when you can slowly see the puzzle pieces being put together and realize in all what the actual plot is. And trust me, it is nothing like what you see on Startup. The game actually surrounds an everyday use in video games nowadays. Saving. The way you are able to retreat to your last save and do something all over again when you did wrong, lost a fight, etc, etc. And But in this game, the saves are mostly just for decoration. The game never forgets what you do. Whatever choice you make, whatever you do, it never forgets. Even when you reset the game, and I checked even when you get a new computer. Now there is ways to hard reset the game and make it forget all that information, but is it that any fun? No, it ruins the experience. 
The way the game detects your every move and can make an outcome of that is insane. During the game, it felt like I was more testing a highly complex AI system than playing a video game. If you try to outsmart the game in any way, it will find it and point out what you are doing. But the fact that the game can remember and point out your every move isn't just for show, it plainly affects how the game ends. Yes, this game has multiple endings, and a lot of them. I will not tell you how to get the endings and what affects them, as that ruins the game's experience. If you know what to do going in, you will not have any fun, trust me. You will have to play the game many times, but that is part of the game itself. Playing the game multiple times gets you the different endings which uncover the story in separate parts. This is so much more than escaping an underground system of monsters because as soon as you get out, you will fall right back down on purpose trying to get the good ending. The game loops. The objective was never to get out. It, it is to finally uncover everything that happened here and piece it together to understand the amazing stories and history this underground area has to tell. And trust me, when you think it's over and you've learned everything, it isn't. The game has an infinite amount of easter eggs, secret characters, outcomes, possibilities, and more. And they are all connected to the same plot somehow. I'm trying not to spoil anything, but I will say this. Most of it has to do with a flower. <laughs> yeah, I hear you scaring the viewers. You will spend hours on this game trying to uncover everything, trying to understand the full plot of the game. I highly recommend it because it is an experience that will stick with you for a very long time. It can be lighthearted, sad, creepy, and sometimes outright disturbing at the exact same time. And that is what truly makes it an amazing game. Try to get all the endings. That is how to s truly see the game in all its glory. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, peace out, jammers. Oh, oh no, they never stop, do they? Okay, I'm gonna try to jump over. Oh, no! <laughs> Don't make noises. Don't make noises. That's freaky. That's freaky crap, bruh. What is this? What is that? <laughs> they're perfect. Yeah, they are, but they're disturbingly perfect. He looks like he's constipated. <laughs>